I've got to build a couple of snow ramps here coming down and onto, onto the river so it ain't so steep. Uh, one of the things you've got to do every year is whenever, wherever you cross a river or a gully or something, usually it's not a gentle process and you have to build snow ramps. So the trails are going to be pretty rough. There's going to be gullies. I'm going to have to stop building snow bridges just to get through them. And every year the, the bank changes. It's always moving. Nothing stays the same. My trail where it comes off the bank is too steep for the sled. You know, you'll come down off the bank and the sled will tip over sometimes and stuff. So I just have to build a little snow ramp to kind of make it more gentle. That'll work for this one. Now we gotta go do the other side. I always like to take the 22 with me if there's a chance of seeing grouse, just to shoot some dinner. This one's gonna take a little more work. It's just, just time consuming, shoveling these snow ramps. This one might take a couple of sessions. And after you've run the lines a number of years, you know, okay, I've got a, a little drainage coming up, and it doesn't have to be anything. It can be just a, a tiny ditch that you can jump across, but that the machine isn't gonna jump. So, you know, you have to fill that in. Some of them need a lot of snow. There's a thin line to having the right amount of snow and too much snow, though. You just need to scrape up as much snow, and if it's, you don't have too much snow, you gotta get it from somewhere. You know, there's some that are worse than others. I knew that one was gonna be bad, and I had to, you know, spend a lot more time on it. But that's not the worst one I have. How long something takes is, doesn't matter, because it's just gotta be done. Yeah, there ain't many days where I think, boy, I didn't work hard enough today. 